it's Hannah and today I'm going to show you a Halloween crochet project. I'm going to show you how to make this little guy. It is a Frankenstein's monster applique, but I've decided to whack a hair clip in it so I can wear it in my hair because that's just what I do. I showed this guy to my boyfriend and he said it looked more like a zombie, but I think that's because I didn't put the bolts on his neck. That's just how I roll. I've popped a link to the pattern in the description box below as I found it via Ravelry. It's not one that I made up myself, I'm happy to admit that, but I couldn't resist, so I decided to make him for you lot. Before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe, I would love it if you did. And with all that being said, let's get on with the tutorial, shall we? For this tutorial, I am using a 3.5mm crochet hook, you are also going to need some double knit yarn. So we are going to start out by making a slip knot in our yarn and chaining 4. For all of this tutorial, I will be referring to UK crochet terminology. The pattern's written in US terminology, so whichever is easiest for you, you follow that. Into the second chain from the hook, we are going to be working two double crochet stitches. Into the next chain, we are working one double crochet. And into that final chain, we are working two double crochet for a total of five stitches. Now we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now you're going to work two double crochet stitches into the first stitch once again. And now you're going to work one double crochet stitch into the next three stitches. Sorry if you can hear any building work going on, I've been waiting all day to film this voiceover, but the building work hasn't stopped so it went quiet for five minutes so I've decided to just go for it. But unfortunately it keeps, uh, keeps happening every so often. Then we're going to do two double crochet into that final stitch of the row. This is for a total of seven stitches in your row. Then we're going to chain one once again, flip it a flip, wonderful stuff. And then we're working two double crochet into that first stitch again. And then one double crochet into the next five stitches. finally got cold in Germany. It's delightful. I've watched a Christmas episode of Glee. I feel a bit Christmassy now. And yes, I've started watching Glee on Netflix. Now we're going to work two double crochet into that final stitch for a total of nine stitches in your row. Chain one and turn. So now we are on row four. Rows four to ten are all exactly the same. You are working one double crochet into each of the nine stitches in your row. This means that for six rows, you are doing six rows of nine stitches. Just remember to chain one and turn between each row, otherwise you'll find that your rows gradually get smaller. But after last week when I complained in the video that it wasn't cold yet, it's definitely cold now. I woke up last Sunday and got a bit of a shock. It was frosty. So yes, don't forget to chain one and turn between each of the rows and just keep doing that. So this is me just finishing off row 10. And make sure you go through both of those loops. Wonderful. Now you will notice that the edge looks a little uneven as you can see, so we are going to single crochet or double crochet the whole way around that. It's UK double crochet, I'm confusing myself. So just try to space it evenly as you go around, there's no method to this. There probably is but I don't know it. I just stick my hook in and try and make it as even as possible on both sides. You're going to go all around the edge including that bottom edge. When you go through that very last stitch, I grabbed my black yarn, because you're also going to need some black. And then I'm just slip stitching that black yarn. In, yeah, nice. 
and sort it out because I've got a rogue loop. And then I'm going to chain two. Now we are going to be doing half trebles all across the top. So that's when you put your yarn over, you put your hook into your first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And I'm just going to do that for the whole of the top row. It's for his hair. Bless him. Poor Frankenstein's monster. Probably a little bit misunderstood. And squeeze in one more stitch, just because I want it to look the same all along the top. Now you are ready to finish off your thread, or your yarn even, if I can get a grip and snip off any excess that you may have. I initially left quite a long tail because I was going to attach this onto something else, then I realised I didn't like it attached onto something else, so yeah. Now you're ready to grab that tapestry needle and sew in all your ends, making sure they are nice and secure and well hidden. Although it's Frankenstein's monster is a bit more of a forgiving one if you haven't sewn in the ends very well. So now I've just got some embroidery floss which I have threaded with a needle and I'm just sewing on detail. The reason I've sped this up is because I'm not very good at hand sewing. So I can't exactly tell you or show you how to embroider things properly. But just attack, which is what I did and I hope for the best. To be honest, Frankenstein's monster is made up of all sorts of different things. So it doesn't matter if it looks a little bit shabby chic. Well, that's my theory anyway. I'm just sewing his stitches on. It's really annoying because my first one looks so much better than this one. It always turns out this way. I do a practice run and it always looks so much nicer than the one that I do on camera. The one on camera always looks a little bit lopsided and awkward. Lovely. And then I sew through the back of my stitching or my crochet to get to the point where I want my eyes to be just so I don't have a long length of thread through the back. And now we're ready to sew on the eyes. I think I'm doing something called satin stitch. P please forgive me if I'm wrong, I am no expert. But I'm just kind of looping it over and over. And those building works are really annoying, they woke me up this morning. I'm not impressed. Ah, oh, cute. And then do the other eye. But yeah, my boyfriend said this looks more like a zombie, so I don't know if it's a zombie or if it's Frankenstein's monster. But either way, they are forgiving if you're not the best at embroidery. And then we got the little mouth, which I just sew a line and then go up through it and yeah, just do a little smiley face because I like cute things, okay? And then I'm just going to finish off my thread and I'm going to finish sewing those other two pieces of wool. And then I'm just grabbing a Kirby grip and putting the straight edge, I'm just kind of picking up stitches as I go along. It's a little bit tricky, um, it can be a little bit fiddly, but just make sure that the pin doesn't poke through the other side of your crochet and you'll be fine. And now you're ready to wear him in your hair. Hooray! Well done everyone, 10 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It is super easy. They're really quick to whip up, actually. I am most impressed. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support means an awful lot to me. And oh, why not hit subscribe? I post a new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday and sometimes a bonus video in the week as well. So I'd love it if you stuck around and joined the party that is in the corner of craft. I've already started thinking about Christmas tutorials. I know it's a little bit premature for some, but if you're making your Christmas presents, you need to think ahead. 
So if there's anything that you want to know how to make, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below so I can make that happen for you and yes. If you decide to recreate something using one of my tutorials, I would love to see a picture of it, so please feel free to post a picture on social media using the hashtag The Corner of Craft. I'm pretty much everywhere online, and all the links to my social media are in the description box below, so you can check them out, follow me, like me, subscribe to me, you know, all of those adjectives. No, verbs. But I think that's everything I have to say for now. Yes. Thank you very much once again for watching, and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Hannah. Sorry for the slightly poorer quality video. I'm filming on my phone. Yesterday I went to Stuttgart Oktoberfest, and I decided to film it and show you what I experienced. My voice is gone from too much singing, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs>